inside. So this is my beauty room. It has taken a little while to get to the stage that it is at right now. It has evolved slowly over the years from a single thing being this, this little cheap plastic thing that I bought at a dollar store for $10. That was my beauty space. And the 10 items of makeup that I owned lived in that and I used them every day for about seven years because I couldn't afford to buy anything else. And uh, obviously now I'm on YouTube, companies send me a lot of makeup for free. I have always adored makeup. It's literally one of my most favorite things in the world. I, there's something just so therapeutic about sitting down and putting on makeup. I'm not particularly good at it, but I do love it. And it's that enthusiasm that I hope will help me to get better and better. One day, maybe I'll uh, have some actual knowledge that you guys can benefit from. But as you probably know, if you're regular on my channel, I just make makeup reviews here and there to let you know what I think about a product. But yeah, I'm no expert, but I have acquired a fair few things in the past year that I've been on YouTube. I've bought some of this or most of this stuff myself. I've got some of it in PR. Throughout the video, I'll let you know what I got for free for full disclosure. I'll list as many things as I can in the description box below. So check it out if there's anything that you're interested in. I'm a little bit nervous because I know that people People often have loud opinions when it comes to these sort of videos. I'm not trying to brag, I'm not trying to do anything like that by showing this stuff. This is an unnatural amount of makeup and no one in their right mind needs this much. Bear in mind, I'm a YouTuber, so I actually make money from ad revenue. So if I make a video about makeup, I make money from the video. That's the only reason I can justify having all this stuff. Before I was on YouTube, like I said, I literally, I had about 10 pieces of makeup and that was it. I actually still have all that stuff. Don't really use it anymore because it's so old, but I've kept it for sentimental reasons, so I'll pick that stuff out and show you. But yeah, don't look at this and feel like this is something that you should aspire to because it's ridiculous. No one needs all this. I can hardly use all of it. I donate so much stuff. I give stuff to my friends, I give stuff to my family, I give stuff to women's shelters. I'm trying to get a lot better at makeup and I'm trying to test out as many products as I can and different techniques and all that. So hopefully that's a little bit of a disclaimer for you. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and uh, you like my beauty room. So let's get to it. Hello. This is my palette tower. These are cute palettes that I think are absolutely beautiful and should not be locked away in a drawer. Aside from those dark ones down the bottom that aren't particularly pretty, but they're just way too big to put in any drawers. But these ones up here, they're the pretty ones that I reach for a lot. This little tower was from uh, Kmart, no Target. Target or Kmart? It's, this is it here, I'll put the picture. It was very, very cheap. I really want to get another one, but Dan has said there's no room for any more furniture in this apartment, which is totally fair. So on the top, I have some of my really pretty favorite looking products. I haven't used a huge amount of these like regularly, but I have them on display because they're beautiful. We have pretty palettes, like I said, like obviously the Too Faced Unicorn Festival palette, Life's a Festival, that's just glorious, so I feel like it has to be on display. I have a bunch of ColourPop palettes down here. I bought most of these myself, but a couple of weeks ago ColourPop put me on their PR list. So they sent me the Misunderstood palette by the Disney villains. Then the others I got myself. I've got Kathleen Light's Dream Street. I've got Bretman Rock, Lit and Wet. The Give It To Me Straight, Chasing Rainbows, the Disney Designer palette. Made in America, super cheap, highly pigmented, stunning colors. This was a Too Faced like, limited edition Christmas palette. I've got the Zodiac palette, I've got some Morphe palettes down the back there, the James Charles palette. I've also got the uh, the Jaclyn Hill palette right, right, right at the back there, but I don't want to give her any promo, so I just kind of hide that down the back there. Let's not talk about her. We've got some Huda, Nude, and Desert Dusk. We've got a Lime Crime Venus 2. Glitzy Face palette by Makeup Forever, which is absolutely rubbish. The Flamingo by Violet Voss. We've got a pure... Tati. I bought this because of Tati. I actually don't like it so much. I bought it because she showed the packaging. I think she got it in a PR unboxing or something. I was like, that's really pretty, but I didn't actually see her review it. That's the thing. You got, got to wait for Tati to review things before you know that they're safe to buy. But anyway, when I saw her pick it up and I saw the cool packaging with the sparkles and stuff, I was like, oh, that's nice. I'll try it. But it's just not as pigmented as I would like. But you know what is pigmented? Dubious Place. Dubious Place. But 
if uh, you watch Here for the Tea and you follow her on Instagram, then you'll know that there's been a fair bit of drama going on with Juvia's Place, so I don't know if we're, if we're supporting this brand anymore or not. It's a bit controversial right now. But hey, they do make incredible eyeshadow. This is an Ikea Malm desk. Now, I bought this on Gumtree, secondhand. It was beaten up and the drawer, this drawer was broken, so we actually had to rebuild it. Bit of a DIY project to make the drawer work. I got this desk for $50 on Gumtree. If you buy it brand new from Ikea, I think it's about $200 maybe or $300. If you ever see something from Ikea that you like, check it out on Gumtree, eBay, Craigslist, whatever. I'm sure you can find it really cheap and if it just needs a little bit of tweaking, you can do it. Literally this, this whole drawer was absolutely buggered and we fixed it. So on the top here, I have these uh, roses that last a year. These are from a company called Fleur Deluxe. This is a, a brand based in Australia, but they do ship internationally. These roses, I don't know what magic or witchcraft it is, they're preserved somehow and they last a year. These were given to me for free. There's a whole bunch of different colors. I've got the white box with the sort of apricot-y pink flowers, but they have like blue flowers and purple, they do black, they do basically any color roses that you want, they have. And they have them in different size boxes too. So next to them, we have, we have the mirror, the cursed mirror. Everyone asks me about this mirror. I'm gonna have to make a video about it because I have a lot of opinions about this. There's some things I love about it and some things that I hate. This is essentially a smart mirror. So it's got a social function where you can go on Facebook, it's got Instagram, Skype, Snapchat, Twitter. You can uh, take pictures, there's a camera. It's not the highest resolution camera, but there's a camera there if you need it. Um, we've got Play, there's a Spotify, Spotify and YouTube. So basically what I use this for is I have Tati on a, an endless loop. It's Tati and Thomas Halbert are basically permanently playing on this little thing here. You can connect it to the internet, watch your videos. Uh, why aren't you connected to the internet? See, this is, this is what, I need to make a video about this. It's not connecting to the Wi-Fi right now. So it's got, it's got some things that are great about it and some things that are a little bit hit and miss. So let me know if you want to see a video specifically about the smart mirror. It's also got the light built in as well, so you can have that on sensor mode. So that's on a sensor right now, so if I leave the room and it, and it doesn't detect any movement, the light will switch off, and then usually when I open the door, it turns on. It's also got your name, it says, good afternoon, pretty pastel, please. So that, that does feel very space age, I do like that. But anyway, tell me if you want to see a video about the makeup mirror, because there's a lot more to it than that. These are my little Kim K fragrances. Uh, I put a picture of these on Instagram a little while ago and there was some opinions. People were like, oh wow, you're supporting Kim Kardashian? And I'm like, eh. I mean, yes, technically I am supporting Kim Kardashian, but I bought them because they're beautiful, not because I care about the Kardashians. This is literally the most solid, hefty packaging you've ever felt. I don't know what it is. It feels like, it feels like metal or, or like slate or something. I don't know, but my favorite fragrance is Bay, Bay, this one. It smells like sugar. Oh my god, it's so nice. It literally smells like... If you've ever smelled the Glass House Candle Taha, this one, that's what this smells like. Incredible. I got my little pretty pastel pins here too. If you don't know, we have merch. There's a little pin of Archie and I, and we also have the Bird Stays as well. We have a third pin too. I'm waiting for my pin lady over in New York to send it to me. But I'll put the link for our merch down in the description below. We also have... A pushing mug. I got this from Zing in Australia. And in here are the most beautiful brushes you've ever seen. These are by Blinged Brushes. This is her website, it's glorious. She sent me these and she actually sent me another pack, which I have in a drawer over there, for a giveaway. I wonder, if, should I do that giveaway in this video? Do it. Okay, we have a second pack. Now these ones in here, these are the silver handles, they're all wrapped up nicely, you might be able to see. There you go. The handles are silver and the top is like a creamy colour, but the ones that I have, the handles are kind of like, if you can see behind, it's got like a rose gold handle and then the top here is rose gold and the fibre stuff is pink. We'll do a giveaway in this video. How to enter the giveaway? How about you leave a comment below, make sure you're subscribed, uh, and... Tell me what. 
Tell me the weirdest item that you would bejewel. No, people are going to say butt plugs. <laughs> tell me the first makeup product that you ever purchased. I'll tell you the first one I ever purchased. It was this jumbo eye pencil by NYX in the shade Milk. And I got this because Elle Fowler told me to. <laughs> back in the day, a good 10 years ago. This is, bought this from Target, I think. Or I bought it online, maybe. Maybe they didn't even sell NYX in Australia back then. But anyway, this was my first makeup product. Tell me your first makeup product. Subscribe, like the video, leave the comment, and you'll be in the running to win some blinged brushes. Next, we have this glorious container here. Now this is from the Cosmetics box. It's literally, the brand is the Cosmetic Box. I keep my like pretty looking display brushes in here, mostly so the birds don't get to them. Um, I mean, these, these are AliExpress brushes. We have, these are from Sports Girl in Australia. We have AliExpress. We have AliExpress. But all my cheap brushes are my prettiest brushes. So this Cosmetics Box, they have, they have a lot of stuff on this website. They gave me this for free. I couldn't, I didn't know that they were gonna send me this and when it turned up, I was like, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So it's front and center on this little desk here. Now in the drawer, this is a very random, not particularly organized drawer. I, I have these little containers in here. So these are, I'm pretty sure these are the, yeah, these are also by the cosmetic box. They sent me all these containers. So uh, this is random, blushes that don't really fit in any drawers or any other places because there's Sailor Moon, we've got Gudetama, these little containers here. These are from, I don't know how, I don't know how to say that. Is it Etoile? Etoile? I have no idea. Etoile. Etoile Collective. So my, my French subscribers can correct me there, but so I have a mix of these acrylic containers. So I'll tell you where all of them are from. So this company sent me these. So this perfectly fits in this drawer. One on the end, and then three of these from the cosmetic box, and then another one from Etoile Collective. Etoile. So I've got some Bath and Body Works little hand sanitizers in here. Got some more there. Some really cute Etude House blushes that I got in Korea. Uh, we've got some color correctors that Yes Style sent me. These are from a company called Peri Pera. Oh, that's where that is. Oh, this fell off one of my drawers. I'll show you that in a minute. My tall Alex drawers that are actually empty because, I mean, imagine how much makeup you would need to fill one of these. Oh, no, it's not empty. It's got hair products. It's got hair products. So we've got, oh, we've got, oh, there you go. We, we have moisturizers in here. Uh, this little acrylic container was given to me by Etoile et Collective as well. Oh, look, look, this is a little peach hand balm. I got this again in Korea. This is by Tony Moly, I believe. It smells like peaches. It's, oh, it's glorious. I have a few of those because when I saw them in Korea, I was like, I don't know when I'm ever going to see something like that again. So I bought a couple of backups. We've also got in the next drawer, hair care. Moroccan oil is literally my favorite. I love this so much. Just got some brushes. And then in the bottom, I've got a hair straightener, crimping, curling, and all that. But the rest of it's empty. But at the top here is a beauty fridge. <laughs> now, if you want to see a video specifically about the beauty fridge, please let me know. It only just arrived. I'm so excited about this because this is from the creator of the Quick Flick. If you don't know the Quick Flick, it's an Australian stamp eyeliner brand created by Iris. Iris is the most inspirational young woman. She was on Shark Tank. She came up with the idea for the Quick Flick because she needed a, a faster and more precise way to do her eyeliner. So she came up with the Quick Flick. That took off, it's been around for two years, and then she came up with the Beauty Fridge. And uh, if you want to see a video specifically about the Beauty Fridge, let me know, because it only just arrived and I don't have anything in it yet except for a Quick Flick. But it is lovely and cold in there, and I know that you, know, you can keep face masks, you can keep like facial tools, serums, all that sort of stuff, creams. So actually, if you guys know, if there's any products that you want me to buy to put in there so that when I make a video about the fridge, I can actually test out products when they're cold and all that sort of thing, can you please tell me? Because, I mean, I'll put some face masks and stuff, but I, I need to know some more products that you guys recommend that I keep in there. It also, you can get little stickers too to put on your beauty fridge. So these ones, these are all beauty fridge stickers, but I actually, I really like the look of it just like that. I think it's absolutely glorious. It's so cute. Uh, Holly's been sitting there for the longest time. So um, she's also been, um, 
shitting there as well. Thanks, Holly. That's that's great. That's just what we want to see. This is an IKEA lac shelf. These are pretty cheap. I think they're like eighty or ninety dollars, but I, I got this off Gumtree for twenty. At the top here, I have ColourPop lipsticks, and then I have YSL lipsticks, half of which are expired, but I just keep them there because they're beautiful. The original couple that are there, then they're definitely expired. Definitely. Uh, they smell about the same as a Jaclyn Hill lipstick, but anyway, I keep them there because they're beautiful. Can, can you blame me? Like, if you pay, what, 50 bucks for a lipstick, you're just gonna toss it out afterwards? I don't think so. Here we have Cover FX Drops. I don't know why this happens. I mean, this is literally new. I only just recently got it, and it, it keeps separating, and no matter how many times you shake it, it just continues to separate. I don't know if that's meant to happen. In my Wish car video, I bought this little um, number plate holder thing, but because it's size for American number plates, I couldn't use it. So I just put a little piece of sparkly cardboard, and these are all pins from Once Upon a Pin. So Once Upon a Pin is who I do my merch through. Go check her out, check out our merch. So I just kind of keep that back there. Now this little container here, this little thing, this is from Daiso. It's just like a layered stand, it cost $2.80. Daiso has a whole bunch of little plastic stands, have them all around the room. So $2.80 from Daiso. This is Etoile Collective as well, this little lipstick tower. This, this is Etoile Collective. Gee, they sent me a lot of stuff. I couldn't, the, they sent like 10 boxes of plastic stuff to me for free. Um, acrylic, not plastic, acrylic. So these are various brushes. There's Jaclyn Hill brushes in here. There's uh, Sigma brushes as well. I bought this, this is this Westman Atelier makeup that Tati reviewed, it's super expensive. I bought it to review it, but I haven't done it yet because I'm like, do I really need to make a video specifically about that? Like, is anyone gonna care? Tati reviewed it, that's the only person that you need to see a review from anyway, so that's that's just there waiting to be used. I have my Muji drawers. <laughs> if anyone has been watching YouTube beauty videos since like 2009, you'll, you'll know about the Muji drawers. Back when I was in school and I used to watch YouTube beauty gurus and I wanted to be a beauty guru so bad, it was my dream to get a Muji drawer but they didn't sell them in Australia. And then when I went to Japan in 2009, I think it was, I bought this at Muji in Japan. We now have Muji in Australia, so I've got a second one over that side. But these are just really cute little shallow drawers. I've got my eyebrow products here. I know, that looks disgusting. My habit is that I usually take the eyebrow product out of there, I scoop it out with the brush, and then I kind of like put it on the lid like that so that I completely cover the tip and I just haven't cleaned those yet. So I have all different eyebrow products in there. Oh, people have been asking me lately what eyebrow shade I've been using. Benefit came out with a new one. They sent me this. This is the shade 2.75, and it's for people with red hair like mine. In here, I have colored pencil eyeliners. Marc Jacobs pencil eyeliners do not recommend. Expensive and not worth it. <laughs> not worth it. Literally, I think these are like 20 or $30 each, and these are $5 each, and these are so much better. We have coloured uh, liquid eyeliners in here, so again, NYX. People always make fun of me for saying NYX. It's NYX, right? N-Y-X, NYX. It's NYX. How else would you How say NYX? How else do you say it? Everyone's like, did she just say NYX? <laughs> I don't know. NYX? NYX. N-Y-X. We have my favourite mascaras in here. Obviously, Benefit Roller Lash. This pretty vulgar. There's a base coat and an actual mascara. Amazing. Better than sex. Waterproof. Sparkly edition. Diamante edition. That's a MAC base thing. It's not great. We've got Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I do love this, but look what happened. That's not meant to happen. It's meant to... I was just... It, it's meant to work. Like, you're meant to be able to open it, but... Thanks, Tarte. Great. Also, just some more mascara. This is absolute rubbish. This Ico London, I was conned into buying this. This is one of my earliest mascara purchases. And she was like, oh, it's in a squishy tube. So it means that when you go to use it, if you like squish it between your fingers, you can really cover the brush. It literally does nothing. Like absolutely nothing. But uh, anyway, that was, that was the first expensive mascara I ever bought. So much regret. If you want a good mascara, this, this is um, Rimmel. I got this in an Easter show bag. We have something called the Easter show, and if you buy show bags, they give you free samples. This is incredible, and you can just buy it from the drugstore. So good. This is the Rimmel London Wonderful, but also Rimmel London Volume Colorist. 
all of these, they're really, really good. So don't spend $30 on a mascara when the lady at the counter tells you to, just go to the drugstore. This, I also got this container from Muji as well. Uh, I just keep some beauty blenders in here. Um, the problem is when you store beauty blenders, they, they basically make everything look kind of cloudy and dirty. So I just kind of hide that one down here where no one can really see it. This is probably what you're all here for, the vanity. Now, this vanity is from, well, it, it looks like it's from Impressions Vanity, but Impressions Vanity doesn't ship to Australia. This is from Vanity Chic. So they're in Melbourne, but you can get literally an identical vanity from Impressions Vanity. It's got a little button, so you can turn, turn it off, turn it on. You can dim it. And you know what? I thought that this was going to change my life. I thought that, you know, I'd sit down and be so illuminated and beautiful and bright and I don't know if it's just because of the brand or what but it's not bright enough like if you sit down to do your makeup in front of these lights because your face is like here you're technically not really illuminating yourself so half the time I have to stand up and I have to stand here and put my makeup on like this because when you're sitting down here it doesn't illuminate you in any way at all <laughs> And I was very upset because this cost me, I think I paid like $1,200 or something for this setup and when it arrived I was very disappointed so it's really just wow factor. When I sit here to do my makeup, uh, I've sort of laid it out, I, I tried to make it, um, what would you say, flow well logistically. I have my ABH palettes in the top here. So because they fit, I'm really, it's, it's like all about that tetris -y ASMR kind of thing. You know, like if stuff fits perfectly, it's just, oh, yes. So they fit perfectly. Soul Tree, Norvina, Modern Renaissance, Soft Glam, Riviera, Alyssa Edwards. I have this little tray. This came from a dollar store. I think it was $5. It was meant to be 20, but it's got a chip on it. See just here? So I went up to the counter and I was like, hi, this has a chip. How much would you give it to me for? And she's like, oh, you can have it for free. And I was like, no, no, I don't, <laughs> I don't want it for free. And she's like, five dollars. Okay, I'm going to complain. Um, this is a little tart, like a magnetic pan. I've got some Makeup Geek in here. My two favorite Makeup Geek shadows. Incredible. They are, what show? Daydreamer and Hi. So beautiful. So that's. There's some MAC shadows in there too. Oh, speaking of, you know how I talked about some of my first products? This. This is the first eyeshadow I ever bought. It, this is Max shade Malt. Looks pretty good for like a seven year old eyeshadow. I haven't used it in a long time, but I keep it because I look at it and I think of how far I've come. It's very sentimental. I'm still just as bad at doing makeup as I was back then, but I like to think I've come a long way. We also have Too Faced Pretty Rich. I was going to include this in a video and then Too Faced had that Rich Lives Matter scandal and I was like mm. I don't want, to, don't want to make a video about the Pretty Rich collection anymore, it left a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, so anyway, there's that. We also have, just complaining about Too Faced, I'm just starting to sound like Jackie Ina now, look, look at my Too Faced drawer. <laughs> um, I keep these up here because they're pretty. It's pretty looking palettes. That's why they're there. I bought all the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes here because I wanted to do like a really extensive review about some of the most high-end eyeshadow I could find compared to some of the cheapest eyeshadows. So they're all there. Um, you know, I was really excited about them originally, but I actually find that these palettes, as a palette, they're not particularly wearable. Like you, you do have to reach for other palettes when you go to use these because you open it up and then you have a whole bunch of there's only one matte shade here, there's a light one, there's a dark one, but I always feel like every time I open up these palettes, I'm like, I can't make a full, complete look with it, so I just end up like picking certain shades out. But anyway, I can do a proper review about these. This is from Zoe Crystal. Now, you may recognize this from uh, Shane Dawson, because him and his whole crew have these, because Trisha Paytas got them for them. Now, I contacted her, I basically just messaged her to say like, if I do a giveaway on my YouTube channel, can I pay you and then can you post it to the winner of the giveaway? And when she found out that I was a YouTuber, she I paid for that and then this one turned up too. I guess it was a gift. So I've got two of these lovely things. I've never used this one. I might actually just use it to keep makeup brushes in or something because I just, like, it's quite heavy. It's ceramic. This one's plastic and I take this all over the place with me. I've taken it from holidays and everything. I love it. So 
So I keep them there because they're beautiful. And there's this really cute little iridescent hourglass. So when I film my videos, if you're a Canon camera user, you might know that if you film for 30 minutes, then the camera shuts off automatically and it doesn't make a beeping sound to tell you that it's gonna do that. So this is a 30 minute timer. So I set this going. Me, every time I look in the mirror. I set that going and then by the time that runs out, I know that the camera's gonna turn off. Hello Kitty, got this in Japan. This was in a 100 yen store. I keep makeup wipes in it. This was my first, it's not acrylic, this one is just normal plastic container. This has been repurposed many times. It used to be all of my makeup was in there. I had like my mascaras and everything used to be in there. I would keep brushes in here, a foundation, everything that I owned went in here. Now it's my little foundation shrine, plus a concealer. Okay. Well, you know, this is, so this is Holly's shade. <laughs> my, I actually haven't worn foundation in a single video of mine for months and months and months and months. I, since I've, you know, reached my 20s, my skin's been pretty good. So I don't really wear that much foundation. I only wear it when I do makeup videos so that I can review it. But my favorite ones, I really actually do really like this Dior foundation. This is the Dior Backstage. It's this combined with the Hourglass Vanish Stick. So I'll take the Hourglass Vanish Stick and I'll put a couple of like, you know, war paint marks on my face and then I'll put the Dior on a brush and then I'll use that to buff out the Vanish Stick. I love it, it's perfect. I do not rate, I don't know why Jeffree Star raves about the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation it's literally you can go to like nyx and buy similar foundation for a fraction of the price so uh, anyway that's that look at this what are you doing on So usually when you buy acrylic containers from, whether it's from this Etoile, Etoile Collective or whatever company you buy them from, they always make them for Ikea Alex units, so they're sized like that, but this vanity, the drawers are an awkward shape, so I can't really, I mean, I can't really fit any containers, so I don't really use them very frequently. Just got some little hand mirrors in here and some spare containers that I got from the dollar store down the road. These are literally two dollars and they're beautiful. Most of those drawers on that side are empty at the moment, but on this side, I am very proud of this drawer. So in here, I have these little shallow eyeshadow drawers, which are also from Etoile Collective. And in here, the way that I've organized it, I bought these Dose of Colors little like block party eyeshadows. And when they sent them out, they it came with this card and the card had other information on it, but I just chopped off this and I set it like that. So then when I open the drawer, I just look here and if I know what color that I want, I'm like, okay, I want reflection. And I've organized it in such a way that there's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I can just look at the picture and say, okay, I want my jam. So that's on the second row in the middle. So this one should be my jam. Yes, it is. There we go. I was very proud when I did that. It's very satisfying to open the drawer and just look at my little card. Um, I also have got these from Etude House in Japan, Korean makeup brand. These are just so satisfying to hold. They're so cute. You can depot them, but I just think they're adorable. Have some, oh, these are incredible. If you guys have ever seen, this is the Starlit Diamond Powder by Makeup Forever. This is literally, glorious look I'll show you. I was a little bit disappointed by how small it is but if I like dip that oh you probably won't be able to tell in this light oh you can no okay I'm, I'm sorry this is why I'm not a beauty guru I swear it's pretty in person anyway we have these these are two uh, Tarte the chrome paint and I leave them facing up like that so you can actually see the colors got some loose glitters We've got, oh yes, this is my eyeliner drawer plus false lashes. Here's all of my quick flicks. If you don't know what the quick flick is, um, this is a brown one. They've got brown and black, but it's a little pen like that. And then you just, you literally just stamp and it gives you a flick. 
and then you use the other side to like fill it in like that. It's very, very quick. That's why it's the quick flick. So anyway, I have a whole drawer of those that I was given by the quick flick and they've given me a code. It's not an affiliate code. I think it's pretty 10. So if you want to get 10% off the quick flick, you can. They have international shipping. Huda Beauty talked about them. So if that gives you an idea, if you don't take my opinion as gospel, take Huda's. So they fit perfectly in this acrylic container that I got from, who gave me this? Etoile Collective. Etoile. Gee, they gave me a lot of stuff. It was like a fever dream. Like there's these huge boxes turned up and I unboxed them. It was nuts and I don't remember half of it because I was just overwhelmed by how much stuff there was. I literally, they probably sent me hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of acrylic containers. So I'll put the link to their shop down below. I also have my little Daiso, uh, what do you call these? False lashes. Daiso false lash container, which is kind of messy. Let's not talk about that. It looks like a Jaclyn Hill lipstick in there. In this drawer, this is all makeup that I am either yet to review or I plan on giving away. I like to start slowly acquiring makeup. I might get doubles of things, I might sometimes buy a double. So like when the when Too Faced launched this limited edition Better Than Sex, this was Better Than Sex and Diamonds. So that was that pink one that's got little diamonds all over it. When they launched that, I bought a couple of them because I wanted to keep one, I wanted to put one in a giveaway, gave one to my friend Millie for her birthday. So I keep spare things in here, things that I've either bought too many of or, you know, maybe like Sephora had a VIP thing and they sent a little mirror, a Fenty mirror out to everyone for free. This is a little compact mirror. So anyway, this is all stuff I plan on giving away. I've got a Blue Blood palette in here by Jeffrey. I bought two of those when it launched because I thought I'd give, do a giveaway. I'm just like slowly accumulating things so that you know, maybe in a couple of months I can do like a huge giveaway with a bunch of really good makeup. So up the top here I have, this is from AliExpress, it's just like a Diamante tissue box. I also have this little metal phone thing from Wish that you may have seen in the video of mine last year when my mom gave me essentially like a mystery box of stuff from Wish. Um, I have a Hello Kitty mirror, again, from Wish. So usually when I do my makeup, I sit here, and because that mirror is too far away and my eyesight is not good enough, I have to get up really, really close. So I look in here, but like I said, those bulbs are not bright enough to illuminate my face, so I often have to take this mirror, and I go sit at that desk directly in front of the window. And uh, why I don't use that mirror, you might be thinking? Well, that's for another video. On this lac shelf at the top, I have Jeffrey's Family Collection box because it's very, very cute. I have another lipstick tower from Etoile Collective. I have this, this little container here. This is just from a dollar store. This is a beautiful acrylic container. It cost me $4.50. So I keep Stila liquid metals. Is that what these are called? Liquid eyeshadow, there you go. So I keep those in there. I have another one of these from Etoile Collective with some brushes, beauty blenders, Jeffrey's skin frosts. I have another, I have a moody drawer here. These were all lipsticks given to me by Sam Marcel. This was my first makeup sponsorship. That was uh, so, so cute for me to look back on. It was like a year ago and I look at that video and I put my lipstick on crooked and it was so bad. But anyway, so they gave me all those. I have these are the Huda Matte and Metal Eyeshadows. These are so good, literally incredible. Um, I also have some little, Yes Style sent me these. These are Miraholic. These are kind of like the Stila Liquid Eyeshadows. We have, I've got some Huda in here and two ABH glosses. We've got a couple of Sugar Pill, two Jeffrey Crystal Hearts Cosmetics sent me these nice lipsticks too. I've got, oh, these, I want to put these on display. I feel like I should find a, a spot for these. There's the Too Faced, uh, whatever collection that is. What is it, Holly? What do you, what do you want to say? I've got MAC, this new Cherry Blossom collection, some Too Faced scrubs for your lips. I got this cute little bin from a dollar store. Now we're onto the, the, the cube box tower. Who is this by? The Cosmetics Box, there's the logo down there, the Cosmetic Box, so they sent me this. This is like my highlight tower in here. So it's a bit awkward because I want to utilize the space on the drawers, so I also put, I've got Halo, Tati, shout out to Halo Beauty, this stuff is great. Um, and I bedazzled it <laughs> because she did a giveaway where she gave away bedazzled Halo stuff and I had to do it too. I've got my little dollar store again, little tower. 
that I keep some Jeffree lip ammos. I've got Tatcha primer. This crazy YSL blurring powder that was too expensive, but it does work. It kind of like blows your pores a little bit. And then YesStyle sent me this glorious Agatha lipstick. So we've got in here, we've got some Too Faced, ADH, Fenty and Fasali. And I really liked that there's three of each of those. So that fit in there really, really nicely. We've got some of the Too Faced Peach, Life's a Peach or whatever. What is this called? Peach My Cheeks. There you go. And some Too Faced highlights there. And then we've got some random like liquid highlights, MAC strobe cream. Um, I've got a Pat McGrath highlight down there, some Hourglass NARS. On the top, I have my favorite, this stuff, this Dior. If you can get one of these, they're lovely. Like it literally doesn't matter what shade you get. They just make your lips so beautiful and juicy and lovely. And the packaging is incredible too. And that little container that these are in. This was $2 from a dollar store and I just stuck little diamantes on it to make it pretty. Just got this the other day from Sephora. Haven't tried it yet, but this is the most satisfying packaging. There's something so like ASMR about this beautiful packaging that I love. I've got Jeffrey's liquid frost back here. Okay. Top drawer. Now the thing that I absolutely hate about the Alex drawers and the only reason I don't recommend them is there's a bunch of wasted space because for whatever stupid reason, the drawers don't pull out all the way. Like look in there, look, my hand goes all the way back in here, but it doesn't pull out any further. So if you put like an acrylic container in there, for example, that goes all the way to the back like that, how, how? Yeah, it, it's wasted space. Like, and when we built them, so Sam built this drawer for me. I got one of them off Gumtree for $50 or $100. Bought the other one brand new. So Sam assembled the other one. And I said to him, can you somehow assemble it so that the drawers pull all the way out? Not physically possible. So that's stupid. So anyway, these containers here, I believe these are also from, oh, these are from the cosmetic box. These little trays. So in here I have primers various primers. Mac sent me this very expensive moisture infusion serum. It's okay. Wouldn't recommend it because it's very expensive, but I got it for free. So that's fine. I've got concealers, obviously shape tape that this is an eye. So I tried to do, see, it's kind of messy, but eye primers and a face primer and some concealer and then eye primers. It's all mixed up. Eye primers and concealers. I mean, they're, they're basically the same thing. Like you can use concealer as an eye primer. So it's all in there together. Oh, and you might be wondering if you spotted the bedazzled. Sometimes if I really, really like a product, I will stick little gems on it to give it like that, that little bit of an extra oomph because I love it so much. It's like I dub the the best eye primer in the drawer. So congratulations, you get sparkles. So this is a Peri Pera ink fitting eye primer. Yes Style sent it to me. Incredible. Literally the best primer I've ever used. So that's why it's got the sparkles on it. Next drawer. Okay, so as you can see, I tried to put, these are kind of like random powders and stuff, but you can't really utilize that space back there properly. But in here, these are like cushions. We've got various cushions. Yes Style sent me this one. Uh, I bought that from Mac. Yes Style sent me that. I bought that in Korea. I mean, I don't really use foundation that much anymore, but any like, those are the, my favorite foundations on the desk over there. And then these are the random not so great foundations that I've reviewed like Morphe, for example. Same company again, this container is by the Cosmetic Box. And I've got, this is kind of like a random mix. We've got contour, contours here. We've got contour again, and then some Morphe powder as well. We've got, now this is one of my favorite drawers because it's beautiful. We've got blushes. This is, these are beautiful Milani blush. I love them. We've got Pretty Volga as well. I've also got some Pretty Volga highlights here. We've got those colors. Oh, this is a, a highlight that YesStyle gave me and I bedazzled it because it was my favorite highlight. We've got Dior. Um, which actually isn't fantastic, just expensive. Mary Luminizers, and then some other random highlights that I, oh, look, this is ridiculous. I bought these, I haven't touched it yet. Everyone told me that this is just a spray over and I didn't know. It looks really cute, it looks really pretty, but apparently when you get down into it, it's just a spray over. Fenty, I've got Becca, some Becca and Oprah. We've got a lipstick drawer. Uh, these lipstick trays are all by Etoile Collective random miscellaneous lipsticks, but my favorite lipstick of all time is Katy Perry Covergirl, Katie Cat Matte, and the shade is Sphinx. 
This is literally my favorite lipstick ever, so that's why there's two of them there, because I bought extras and there's one in my handbag too. My most used lipstick. My favorite item of makeup ever, not because of its use, but because of what it looks like, is this Winky Lux Balm. Look, how, look, it's like a little cute little pill. And then when you open it and you look at it, isn't it beautiful? It's so cute. <laughs> so that's the only Winky Lux product I've ever bought, but I think it's one of the most beautiful looking makeup products I've ever seen. <laughs> makeup remover, beauty blender cleaner, makeup brush cleaner. This is for tidying up eye looks. And then in here, got this at a dollar store in Japan. It's a little twin stars container. And every time I buy new makeup wipes, I just keep them in that container. This costs like $2 and it's so cute. We've also got some makeup I'm going to review. So we've got Jeffree's Jewel Breaker and this Nomad Cosmetics palette, they sent me this because so many people tagged me in it when they posted it on their page. This is the Harajuku palette. Look at that. Is that not just the most beautiful looking little pastel palette you've ever seen? So I want to include that in a video soon. So this drawer is basically for stuff that I'm going to film soon. Okay, this is what I'm most proud of. I cannot believe that I got these. These, all of these acrylic containers were sent to me. I'm so lucky because these are kind of expensive. I think they're at least two, 200 or $300 each if you buy them. But these ones are from Etika. So Etika is the brand and they make various sizes with various drawers. So we've got the, the mega cube and then you can get like the extra, the extra attachment for the top. It doesn't come with that top part. But anyway, so we've got the two smaller ones and I bought this IKEA unit specifically because measuring it, it was exactly the same width as my three towers. I used to store these towers on the IKEA Malm desk, but the desk started to bow under the weight of it. So I had to get something that had more support. So, hello. <laughs> anyway, so in these, this is like my shrine to ColourPop. I actually bought basically everything in here before I got on the ColourPop PR list, but ColourPop sent me this little lippy sticks collection the other day. They sent me a whole, oh. no, don't show the camera your bum, Holly. That's very rude. Put that down. They sent me this. This was like one of the first things I got in PR from ColourPop. So I will treasure this for the rest of my life. I'm currently wearing the shade, Ugh. oh snap. And they also gave me a code. Where is it? Here, look, I put this here. Shameless self promo. This isn't an affiliate code, but it's five pretty pastel please. So you get $5 off your order with ColourPop. So I've got Etoile Collective acrylic container with these brushes that I was sent by Cosmic Brushes that are absolutely glorious. Look at them. They're so beautiful and they're very, very soft too. So I keep them up there because they're stunning. I also have some Morphe blinged brushes, but all of the little things fall off very, very easily. Not like the blinged brushes by blinged brushes. These ones, every time they bash into each other, little gems fall off them. This is when I pulled them out of the package, it started losing them. So when you buy them from someone that actually makes them specifically, like blinged brushes, no matter how much you beat those around, they, the gems don't fall off. But anyway, I keep them there because they're shiny. My ColourPop, all of my little, what do you call it, glosses and various things that I've accumulated slowly. We have in here, we've got ColourPop, these are like liquid eyeshadows, some Jelly Much, um, some Super Shock. We've got more Super Shock. I've got some concealers. These are more lippy sticks and some uh, eyeliners that I don't actually rate at all. They hurt my eyes. It's like using colored daggers on your eyes. Um, these are Super Shock highlights and some blushes. I've, oh, this is the only not color pop. This is all cute, like pretty highlights with pretty holographic packaging. I just like to keep it all together. We've got, oh my God, this is absolutely, if you're gonna splurge on a highlight, get this, if you've got a similar skin tone to me. So this is, um, this is called Worth the Weight Omega Glaze, but this is like a limited edition one that just came out. The color, uh, hang on, let me put it on. Um, use this, use a cosmic brush. Whoa. <laughs> it's literally insane. Like it's just the prettiest highlight, the, the shade, Oh, I love it so much. This is expensive. This is just absolutely incredible. Love it. Uh, and then I've got some, oh, Sam Marcel also from that very first makeup sponsorship that I did. 
I still highly rate this. I wasn't just saying that I liked it because I was being paid. Literally some of the best highlight I've ever used. That was a great sponsorship deal that I landed because I felt so confident promoting this stuff. I love it. And then I've got all the glitters. So all the ColourPop um, glitters, face glitters. Up here, Etika, they make palette holders. So I put these palette holders at the top here. And we've got some Jeffrey, we've got Blue Blood, um, Blood Sugar, some Natasha Denona, and we've got Thirsty. We've got Alien, Northern Lights. I've got this Certify palette. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that incredible? Um, so uh, we've also got, I got this by Shantakai because this is incredible packaging. Haven't used it yet, but I really, I'm really excited to use this because look at those colors, they're stunning. We've also got in this, these are mostly palettes. So I've got Sugar Pill Little Twin Stars, Mac sent me the Queen Supreme. This is literally like an $80 palette. Ridiculous, not worth it in any way at all. But you know what is worth it? Naked Cherry. Amazing. And back here, haven't used it in a while, but this was the first eyeshadow palette that I ever bought, Naked 3. So for those of you that remember the year that Naked 3 came out, that was the first time, the first year I bought an eyeshadow palette. And I saved up for months and months and months and months. So I keep that for sentimental reasons. I got all of the dose of colors. These are shocking. Don't waste your money. We literally don't. Like I heard someone talking about these in a video, I can't remember who it was, and they liked one of them. And anyway, so I thought, oh, I'll buy the collection and review it. When I got it and I started using them, I was like, I don't wanna make a video about these, they suck. They're just chalky and powdery and not pigmented at all. I've got some Pat McGrath in here, Marc Jacobs, Natasha Denona, Viseart. Yeah, that's a heavy draw. Smashbox, Viseart. And then what's that at the back there? Oh, Murray Dalgar. I bought this because of the packaging. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> we've got some anti-vax contour. We've got Tarte, Marc Jacobs, some more Tarte, Be A Light. Uh, oh, this is kind of like a Fenty drawer. More to come. But look, this, this is insane packaging. Like, it's so huge, but I just couldn't bring myself to throw it out because look at this. How glorious is that? So I keep them in there because that's beautiful, but it's very difficult to store something so big. Loose powders in this drawer. Uh, do not rate the girl on whatever m meteoritis powders. It sounds like some sort of disease. I don't rate that. It's like putting chalk on your face, but Fenty powder, incredible. RCMA, a classic. I wasn't actually that impressed by Laura Mercier. It took me years and years and years to buy it. Didn't like it that much. Huda, I do like the Huda powder, so it got nominated with the uh, sparkles. Oh, this one is absolutely incredible. This is Holika Holika. I got this in Korea. No idea if it's still on sale. Oh, it's in Korean. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't read it, but uh, some of the best powder I've ever used in my life. Finally, the very last spot, we have setting spray up here. The setting spray is sitting on top of these little Daiso, like, sort of, mm, what do you call these? Like a... Decorative staircase. <laughs> a decorative staircase there. You go. So we've got Mac Fix Plus and some ADH. We've got this was Etude House. Got this for free from Yes Style. We've got Too Faced Cover FX. Too Faced again. Morphe and Huda's new one, which is I'm pretty sure this is actually hairspray. Like <laughs> it's called Resting Boss Face Waterproof Setting Spray. Extra hold. Smells like hairspray. Feels like hairspray on your face. It's very intense. Got the Fasali, all the cute little Fasali mm, unicorn pee, whatever it is, all this stuff. All right, don't really highly rate it for the money, personally. We've got square shaped eyeshadow palettes. I just, I like to keep the square shaped palettes together for some weird reason. We have, ah oh yes, we're missing a little, it's the only problem about these drawers. So the, these are Etika drawers. The little knobs, you just have to be really gentle with them. I knocked one off and I, I tried to super glue it back on and it lasted a couple of days and then I knocked it off again. So you just have to kind of be careful with these. I've got Jeffrey's liners in there. Some Sailor Moon that Yes Style gave me. We've got Jeffrey again and his highlights. We've got Fenty, a whole bunch of little Fenty Mademoiselle lipsticks. Uh, Fenty Gloss Bomb, I'm missing my favorite one because it's in a handbag somewhere. Some highlights. Contour sticks. We've got Jeffrey's concealer. These were Sailor Moon things that Yes Style gave me. I've got some more Fenty. It's a very bare looking drawer, but Fenty Summer Collection. And lip scrubs. And then some Urban Decay. 
And that's, that's it. The only other thing in here, we've got a little rug on the floor here. This, this is a fake sheepskin rug that I just got from, you know when you're walking through a shopping mall and people just set up like little stalls in the center of the mall? Got it from there, it was like $40. Uh, and I also have wardrobes, but that's for a wardrobe tour. But in this far side, I keep things that I want to film. So, oh my God, YesStyle sent me this the other day. This is a huge box full of Korean makeup. Like, I don't even know what, look, this is called Pink Raccoonie and it's a hydrogel eye cream or something. There's a whole bunch of Korean stuff in here, so I'm gonna do like an unboxing video of that. When I was in Hawaii, I went to Sephora and I bought some stuff at Sephora. I've got the Moschino Sephora collection in here and some milk makeup that I've never tried before. Some Fasali, Beauty Blender stuff. That's another video. And then I also have what I'm very excited about, American drugstore makeup. So I got all of this in a drugstore in Hawaii. So finally I'm trying out, you know, like Physician's Formula. We've got some Milani, there's Elf in there. We've got more Milani. There's, there's a lot of stuff in here. So that's gonna be another video too. Have a look about the chair. This is from Lounge Lovers Furniture. If you are in Australia, they have lovely furniture. I didn't show you this. We have a display shelf that's really, really barren and I don't know what to do with it. Uh, I put the purple things here, like a Tarte blush book. There's a, this is really cute. This is like a purse that Tarte made. It's blush again. Uh, Huda released perfume and I keep it on display because the packaging is stunning. It's K R Lee. And every time I read it, all I can think is like, K R Lee, marvelous B, Alia Barbwa. <laughs> We've got the, let's, censor that because I don't want to promote that. And then we have some Lime Crime. This was actually what got me into pastel things in the first place because I bought these on eBay. I got them second hand. I think it cost me, they were $5 each. First time, I used to be an emo, absolute emo goth. And the first sort of experiment I had into pastel, I was wearing all black and I was like, you know what I'll do? I'll paint my nails a pastel color. And I loved the look of these so much and I started to buy little bits of clothing that matched the nail polish here and there and so Pretty Pastel Please was born. So that's why they're on display. And also, Yes Style gave me these Peri Pera mini fridges, which it looks very similar to the mini fridge up there. In here, there's just some skincare that I haven't used yet and some perfume I haven't used yet and some kanji books. Okay, so that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up, etc, etc. And uh, I will see you next time. Mwah!